In the name of the universal just God, my name is Jagat Kebajigo, representing CL. CL is an acronym for simple initiatives to improve African lives. Our primary target is African lives, including non-human beings, but our mission is to minimize pain worldwide. Here is a brief description of our aims and objectives. Number one, introduce and promote healthy non-native produce for better nutrition and health. Number two, strategically provide clean water for home and agricultural usage. Number three, introduce and promote better ways and means for home costs like washing clothes with less energy and time. Number four, help with heating mechanisms that will reduce deforestation or heavy usage of firewood. Number five, introduce and promote domestic and natural plant aids recipes to reduce the costs and dangers of many forms of fertilization. Number six, educate the public, especially young people, on food-based medicine, like which food and or combination of food are research proven to help on which ailments. Number seven, entertainment centers. Set up education-oriented youth centers with a touch of entertainment for attraction. That's it. Although we are a young organization with limited resources, we have smart strategies with high standards and we use efficient approach all the time. For example, one of our projects, Balanced Diet and Food Stop Loss, is simple but powerful enough to improve lives from village level to world level. In most of Africa, a village hardly have over 20 varieties of produce. With our plan, a village will have over 100 varieties of produce and without overworking the people. How do we do it? We divide about 50 fruit trees, 50 vegetables and some indoor plants into sets of 12. The head of the household is assigned few produce based on month of birth or last digit of address corresponding to the number on our sets of 12s. So if you were born in August, you just produce what is on number 8. So if they choose the address system and your address is 14, Main Street, choose what is on number 4. What means? What that means is that a compound, every compound will have about 10 produce as primary produce, but we can produce other produce. A village of 24 compounds will easily access over 100 variety. Villages operate differently. They share, they can sell, they can do through gifts, barter, etc. We can organize food exposition to learn and see who complies. We will quickly raise people's interest on planting trees and gardening to the level of getting food surplus. With time, we encourage planting at least three trees as charity for every new born base on the uh, month of birth. Those who live in the city can be partnered with a villager or an organization. These measures will help poor countries more than loans or the promotion of one or two plants for money. Consumption should be primary and money should be secondary for balanced diet security and self-reliance. We will give more details later on balanced diet and food surplus strategy. We also have what we call the youth entertainment centers for developing villages in developing countries. Sometimes we have a village like Kuntaya village in Jokadu district in the Gambia, West Africa. This village has a small hospital, a primary school, a secondary school, and a high school. Yet they have very, very limited resources. There are other surrounding villages that share this facilities with Kuntaya village. Considering the future of these kids and the hospital, it is important to have reliable internet access to make the best out of these facilities. Our plan for such villages is to build two big halls, one with strong education leaning with internet, library, etc. The other can be entertainment leaning designed to partially subsidize the education leaning hall. We will be able to make a difference in the lives of over 1,000 kids, improve and attract better teachers, improve the hospital staff, etc. Providing these facilities will also help the kids stay away from readily available dangerous products like secret for fun. Our organization is also concerned with the environment. We have a different programs. We have different programs for better environment, including clean environment. Whereas we are a secular organization, we believe in using any respectable means to achieve a secular end. We study the local community and decide on an approach. For example, the Senegambia area misinterprets some religious history to underestimate the dangers of what we can call physical dirt. We discover they abuse the term predestination as excuse rather than taking and using efforts to face challenges. So our approach to such a community may seem too religious to some atheists or even some believers 
who are secular minds around the world. Our concern or focus is change and how the local community sees us, not what a Western critic may criticize without knowledge. We know that Islam does not need cleaning lessons, but some Muslims do due to misinterpretations. So for the Senegambia area, we must engage them on predestination and teach them how Islam values all forms of cleanliness. It is important to be respectful when you challenge beliefs and to quote very often so that the humble ones may repent and help you on others. Once they understand it is un-Islamic to litter or contribute to any form of filth, they are more likely to stay away from filthy life. Then you can encourage them on cleanliness from religious and secular perspective and then suggest punitive measures on art and that they are likely punitive measures um, in life after death. There is calculated tricks involved in our approach, but we are optimistic to make lasting change with minimal resistance due to the long held beliefs. We also help them with cleaning strategies. With time, if we secure enough funding, we plan to help on products they may need towards cleaning environment and other targets. We plan on helping to simplify home costs like washing clothes with less energy and time, better cooking methods and products. More on balanced diet and food surplus. Beyond food, we need to seek this produce for our health. There are health benefits in God-made produce more than man-made drugs we import. Just like some people worship people instead of God, some people happen to trust in man-made medicine over God-made medicine. According to the Bible and the Quran, there is medicine in produce and this has been confirmed by science. Produce can be for your body, mind and soul. For example, there is a vegetable called kale, which is said to boost the mind. How many of you will like to have smarter kids? Do you spend a lot of money buying expensive books, paying a lot of money for study teachers, going to marabouts for prayers, concoctions and beyond? There may be some good in these things, but there may be greater good in produce that costs little money on seeds, plus time and minor efforts. God is the best marabout and has some natural concoction for your brain. Personally, when I eat kale, I can feel something in my head. I feel really nice, I feel relaxed, and I can think better. And it may do similar, it may do similar to your kids or better. By seeking kale and many other known brain food, our kids will be able to compete and surpass China, India, America, and other places. If our kids are hungry or eating anything just to survive, they are less likely to be performers and we may pay for that on Judgment Day. God has placed enough food on earth for us to learn and seek in other ways. Some of you may fear that you may not like the produce, but what efforts do you make on bitter concoctions and bitter pills? Again, it boils down to efforts. Try preparing vegetables different ways and we will help you with suggestions. I know about seven ways of preparing kale and there are more ways. You must like some of them. We will try to get you some of the seeds free of charge, but you should be willing to pay for it, just like you are willing to pay to get some man-made prescription drugs that is killing millions of people worldwide. Let us repent for ourselves and for our children. God has given us enough to feed them, but we are wrongly worshiping money as the one eye, as the only way to feed our children. All of us need to garden, and we will help you with meaningful gardening tips. Planting trees and gardening is like printing your own money, at least for food. Some of us are so impatient that we listen to the whisperings of the devils that it takes too long before we benefit from planting trees. Some trees do not take long. And God may open another door for you from the day you plant the seeds. If you plant few trees for your newborn, you and many others will benefit from the tree before your child grows to benefit you. If we adopt it as culture, your child and the wall is less likely to starve. We benefit from the plantings of some of the dead. So it is okay to plant a tree before you die, a day before you die, if you are a true believer in God. It may be the best inheritance you may leave. Are you ready to put time, money and efforts on God concoctions like kale, almond, walnuts and other brain food? For your child, more than many of you spend on emails, pastors and marabouts. 